summer here before I moved to New York and start my life and career all on my own. I mean, I've only been modeling for about, I'd say seven months. Before Josie Canseco would become Playboy's Playmate of the Month for June of 2016. Before Josie Canseco would begin a relationship with Logan Paul, who would buy his new girlfriend a giant furry four-legged friend. Hmm? I think he's good. Yeah, he's so pretty and he rides so well. I'm, g I'm glad you like him, babe, because I'm going to be honest, I actually already bought him. <laughs> For you. <laughs> Before Josie Canseco would have 90,000 followers on Twitter and over 1 million followers on Instagram at the time of this recording. There's a new supermodel breaking into the world of fashion and she's a celebrity's kid to boot. Josie Canseco is the daughter of former MLB superstar Jose Canseco. My baby. Don't worry, ma'am. I'll save your baby. Oh, thank you, Mr. Canseco. And beside the modeling career, she's also quietly been establishing herself as one of the most popular and hottest influencers all over social media. Babe, you're the hottest to me. Oh, thanks. As a youngster, Josie was all about dancing, having been practicing the craft since she was only 12 years old. And she's no stranger to the limelight either, having first appeared in the web series Summer Break 2 and on television as a young girl with her mother on the reality series The Mother Daughter Experiment Celebrity Edition. If you could give me a makeover, what is the first thing you'd change? I don't know. A makeover? Would I change? Maybe your butt. Oh, too bad. <laughs> It's a little big. I missed that one. Did you see it? No, I missed it too. But despite her early brush with fame, well, Josie, she wasn't all that interested in continuing down that path, at least not at first. Now she explained to Playboy, I didn't learn anything surprising about myself because I didn't want to be a reality star. I'm actually a weird, goofy, and friendly person. Giving in to drama simply isn't me. Now since she's become Logan Paul's significant other, well that dude, he's been drama free since 2018. But how did the two initially meet? Well, we'll explain that a little later in this video. You have my undivided attention. <laughs> What's going on guys, it's your boy Michael McCrudden and Kara the Vampire Slayer. And she's helping me out here on this channel and our other channels, we've got four in total. So you might notice that there's been some new faces including Marlon and Azalea. Now I'm gonna take uh, take the bench, Kara's gonna take over, but you guys can let us know who to document next in the comments down below. How about her dad? What's his name, Jose? Jose? Jose, I said Jose. Jose Jalateño. <laughs> It's not just me. We're all, we all make mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm out of here. Bye. Hey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom. Josie Canseco was born on November 5th, 1996 in Weston, Florida to her father, Jose Canseco, and her mother, Jessica Canseco, a former Cuban-American supermodel, not to mention author and star of multiple reality series, including Hollywood Exes. Despite everyone knowing who her father is, growing up as the daughter of a man who's constantly in the national spotlight wasn't always easy. Speaking with the New York Post, she told them, I love my dad and I'm proud of where I come from. Growing up, there was a lot of pressure to live up to certain expectations and money as if I was rich and stuff. It was a bit of a facade. Jose and Jessica were married from 1996 until 1999. Josie then moved to Los Angeles with her mother after her parents split. While growing up in LA, she attended a performing arts school and trained in her primary passion, dancing. Two, three. Oh, <laughs> Keep everything very close. When you think of salsa, what's the first thing you think about? Hips. Hips. Besides dance, Josie would also spend a lot of time as a youngster caring for animals, which is a huge passion of hers. She would volunteer at farms and various animal shelters around the city. With her mother being a former model, as she got older, Josie grew more and more interested in following that same path. In fact, she remembers that people would often stop her mother on the street and tell her that Josie should be a model. Naturally, with her mother already having some connections in the industry, it wasn't too hard for Josie to make the leap. But before Josie would blow up as a model, she first began to get noticed while just out and about as a regular person, enjoying time spent with her friend Charlotte D'Alessio at Coachella back in 2015. 
Things kicked off when photographer Brian Onslava took this candid photo of the two rocking out that garnered tens of thousands of likes. After that, they started popping up all over. First, it was The Weeknd's personal Instagram account, which reached nearly 2 million people. Then they showed up on the main Coachella account as well as party photographer The Cobra Snake's Instagram. By the end of the weekend, their own personal grams had ballooned in size and Josie was ready to capitalize on this newfound fame. Once high school was finished, she took meetings with agencies and signed with Next Models. She moved into a cramped model apartment with six or seven other girls in New York City. And while she was finally living the model life, it wasn't exactly always glamorous. She told the New York Post. Inevitably, there are some girls doing drugs, some are cooking fish at 7 a.m., stinking up the whole place, and there are cigarettes. You have no privacy, which is tough, but it's how I had to start. The first job she ever booked was a Spread for Love magazine, which quickly followed up with more shoots for Teen Vogue, Aeropostale, and Urban Outfitters. By 2016, Josie was auditioning for Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue. Bikinis. Out. Biting my nails. <laughs> oh, yum. Best thing ever. And appearing in one of the first non nude Playboy photo shoots at only the age of 19. In 2018, she debuted in Victoria's Secret's fashion show after failing to make the cut the year before. Since then, as I'm sure you can imagine, her popularity has been growing exponentially, and she's dated a number of celebrities like Mike Studd, Brony Jetter, and more recently, Logan Paul. Logan and Josie have been together for a few months now and created tons of content with one another. Logan has even gone so far as to say that this relationship is pretty serious. Let's go. <laughs> Y'all ever see a Victoria's Secret model riding a razor? You swear. Swear what? That you won't flip me. Swear I'm not gonna flip you. Oh, I will be upset. Real upset. <laughs> <laughs> How did the two meet? Logan explained on a podcast. It was a crossing of LA's circles. She's over here and I'm over there and we crossed circles one night. It wasn't long before the two were being spotted by paparazzi at the Rose Bowl flea market, going through a short but public breakup and becoming Pokemon BFFs. They seem pretty happy with one another and are having lots of fun, so I hope it works out for them. As for where Josie goes from here, well I think that's a story for another time. After all, this is before they were famous. What did you guys think about Josie's story? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow our Instagram to vote on what's next. Thanks for tuning in, and if you guys want to see more of me, head on over to Famous Entertainment. Bye! Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Now, we drop a new video each and every day, so here's a recent drop that you might enjoy. We handpicked that one for you, because if you like this video, you'll probably like that. We also got playlists like over here, so click on that if you want to see a whole list of a bunch of videos we've dropped in the past. And if you're new to the Fame Gang, be sure to subscribe and turn on them post notifications, and I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!